A solid sphere of mass m and radius r is placed inside a hollow thin spherical shell of mass capital M and radius capital R as shown in figure. A particle of mass small m is placed on the line joining the two center at the distance x from the point of contact of the sphere from the shell that is the point of contact is this one. Okay. Find the magnitude of the resultant gravitational force on this particle due to the sphere and the shell. All right. Now first thing is first we know the concept point is if a particle is placed inside a hollow shell then the gravitational force between both of them will be zero. Now in first case R x and 2r that is the particle is lying somewhere on this line right we must put a magnifying glass over here so then we can look what is happening inside so I put a magnifying glass the magnified part is like this okay and this is my outer sphere something like this fine and this is the center line and the value of x that is the distance from the point of contact is given as it lies somewhere between r and 2r so it lies somewhere over here alright now one thing is clear that if a particle is lying over here let's say at a distance x fine this is my mass m dash then the force acting on it the force acting on m dash due to the capital M that is the outer shell will be zero because of course the m dash is lying totally inside a hollow shell so the force due to it will be zero but there will be a force acting on m dash due to small m and that will be given by g into m that is the that is small m okay this small m is the mass of the sphere whose radius is x all right again the same concept the part lying outside to the particle position will not exert any force on it so I'll say that this is my mass let's say m dash the m dash is the mass of the particle and let's say m1 that is the mass of this much part divided by the distance between both of them and that is given by r minus x or r x minus r whatever whole square So the value of m dash as we calculated in previous problems is given by total mass of this sphere that is small m into this distance this distance is my r minus x or x minus r right x minus r whole cube divided by small r cube so just substitute this value over here so I get f m dash m given by g m dash into m into x minus r whole cube by r cube into x minus r whole square so the force between m dash and m is given by g m dash m x minus r by r cube that is the answer in second part if the value of x lies between 2r and capital 2R fine it means it is lying somewhere over here now again when the particle is lying in this region then again the force on the particle due to the outer sphere will be zero because same again it is lying inside the hollow sphere and the force on m dash due to small m can be easily calculated by g small m into small m this is m dash divided by r square r square is the distance between the center and the particle so the total distance is x and this is the small radius small r so it will be x minus r whole square that is the answer and in c part it is lying outside the 2r so clearly the force will now act due to the outer shell also that will be given by g into m to small m divided by distance between both of them so let's say if particle is lying somewhere at this point and this complete distance is x now and uh, this distance is capital R so it will be x minus capital R whole square and the direction of force is along the center line that is downward 
and uh, the force that is acting on m dash due to small m can be calculated by again the same formula and distance between them will be x minus small r whole square now since both the force are acting in the same direction that is along the central line downward direction so the f net in this case is given by g m into small m by x minus r whole square plus g m into m dash by x minus r whole square this is the capital r that is the answer